doing a quick video on how you can mount an air compressor on a 2014 and up Toyota Tundra. This is a 2019 Toyota Tundra and uh, this one has the 5.7 liter motor in it. And I only mention that because the engine bay might be different a little bit between the 5.7 and the 4.6. So I just wanna show you how I'm gonna go about doing this. So if you look in the back corner here, I'd elected to mount mine on the inside of the engine bay. I did not want to mount it underneath the truck um, because I don't want it to be in the snow and the salt and the ice and the rain and debris and everything. So I want it in a cleaner place. So this is the location where I've chose to mount my air compressor uh, that I'll be using for my airbag system and, and other things I may have. Uh, around air compressor usage on the truck and if you look back here you will see these two bolts here in this um, unit attached to the firewall two bolts there and then down below is one more bolt I'll see if I can get a picture of it right there so what we're gonna do is we're going to show you what I found this is a, an air compressor mount made by Shark Bite Motorsports. If you go to their website, uh, search for Tundra air compressor bracket. I'll put a link uh, in the description to um, the exact um, verbiage on, on what you'll want to search for. Um, it didn't come with like a part number, so I can't provide that, but I think they only sell one of these for the Tundra. So it's the only thing that's gonna come up on their site. And um, so how this actually works, if you see, these little ears here that go down, those are going to go back and fit in those two bolts back there. So we're gonna loosen those up. No reason to take them all the way out, just loosen them up enough so this can slide in behind it. And then this is gonna fit down in there. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Those will fit down there and then the front of this bracket will mount and that bolt down there. So in the end, it's gonna look pretty much like, I'm just gonna set this in there loosely. It's gonna look pretty much like that. And that's gonna give you a nice platform uh, in which to mount your air compressor. Nice little space back there. Kind of be out of the way and protected. And uh, there's even some mounting holes on here that you can use. This is designed for an ARB uh, compressor. Uh, mine is not an ARB, mine is an air left. Uh, so I'll figure out some way to mount that to this um, bracket here and um, be good to go. As far as wiring, uh, my intentions uh, to get power to the air compressor, I am going to bring my wires across the back of the engine compartment here. And uh, in my truck, I have an S-Pod. It's kind of upside down here, but uh, S-Pod power distribution. Uh, unit that you can put open the cover off and that's what you can use to mount all of your um, Accessories such as air compressors and lights and things like that Just put the negative and positive down inside of this and that will be good to go and then and this has a switch that goes into the inside the cabin of the Tundra uh, to a little switch box where I can turn on and off the air compressor and other accessories I'll put a link to the description also for this S-Pod unit if you're not familiar with it, so you can look that up. But it's really handy uh, to use for uh, accessories. I've not got it completely wired up yet. I just kind of have it sitting here while I'm working on some other things. But all this thing does is this connects right onto the battery. And that's your one connection up here for power. Then everything else lays down in here. So that's my intention with the air compressor on this Toyota Tundra. Hope that was helpful. Have a good day.